Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here at Canon Hollywood, and this is a quick tips video on assignable buttons and using LUTs. And I just want to show you a couple of things that'll make it a lot easier for you to access and turn on and off LUTs in production environments. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the camera system on the C300 Mark II under Assistance Functions, and I'm going to choose LUT, and in there I'm going to make my choices. Now, I'm not going to actually turn the LUT on here. We're going to do that with the assignable button. But what I am going to do is decide what type of LUT I'm pushing to the different outputs on the camera. So I can have MON and HDMI. Right now I'm pushing a BT709 or Rec709 LUT to there. For the LCD and for the viewfinder, I'm also doing BT709. And for the rec out over here, what I'm going to do is, even though I have a lot of choices inside of here, including ACES Proxy, DCI-P3, BT2020, I'm going to actually go ahead and choose BT709 for that as well. Now, we won't see a change here because I haven't activated the LUT yet. That's going to be, again, the assignable button. So now, instead of going into the entire menu system and finding assignable buttons, I'm going to show you a shortcut. All you have to do is hold down the menu button on the camera body and then press the button that you want to assign a function to. So I held down menu and then eight. That is actually not assigned by default on the camera system. And then I'm going to go over to the joystick and I am going to scroll down and find the LUT option there. And then once I find that, I'm going to press the joystick in. And now that has been assigned to the assignable button number eight. Press the menu button to step out of there. And now if I just go ahead and press eight on the camera body, it will toggle between the LUT being applied to whatever outputs I have applied those LUTs to. And then toggle off, toggle on. And all it's doing is taking the activate on off for the LUT. And we've now assigned it to that button. Don't forget that shortcut though, because besides being able to do something like this, we can actually hold down that menu button and then press any one of those assignable buttons on the C300 Mark II and quickly and easily assign that button to a different function. Thanks for watching.